Hi, my name is Incarnation from Cloud9, and this is my soul lane tactics guide to Victor versus Azir. Uh, how you play the lane matchup depends what item you choose to start. You can go either Flask here or Doran Ring. If you go for Flask, you can walk up and trade aggressively, like while tanking minion damage, because for Azir to win this lane early, he needs to push you in. So you w just want to walk up and try to trade with him as much as possible if you go for the Flask. And if you go for the Doran's Ring start, you mainly just want to try to shove him back in and just poke him with your E and not do too many hard trades. And at level 3, three to 4, it also depends if you went for Flask or Doran's Ring. But yeah, it's, it's basically just the same. You want to try to poke him with the Doran's Ring with max range E and try to not get hit by him too much. And if you go for Flask and he have Doran's Ring, you just want to try to walk up and trade as hard as possible without putting yourself in danger of ganks. And level 5, it's pretty much the same. You just want to try to poke him and not put yourself in danger of ganks. But once you get level 6 on Victor, is when you start to have a lot of burst damage, so you can look to try to kill him if possible. But you also have to be careful, because if he jumps in and ulties you back and you get ganked, then you're very likely to die. So you have to play this matchup kind of carefully and you just want to try to poke him down a bit first and then if you see an opportunity and he's like 60% health or something you can try to go for an all-in with your full combo. You can play how you play this matchup is there's many ways you can play it because if you're winning the lane and have control once you hit level 7 your E pretty much clears the entire wave so if you can push him out before he like tries to shove you back in you can look for a roam or you can just try to like harass him under his tower because your E is super long range so you can like poke him under his tower without taking damage as well. Um, this matchup is mainly about control. There's not really that much kill potential because it, um, Asya is relatively a relatively safe champion. So you just want to try to like poke him as much as possible and gain vision control and try to roam with your jungler or something like that. And for the runes, you want to use 9 magic pin uh, marks and scaling health per level in yellows, um, also known as seals. And in glyphs, you want to use 9 flat magic resist. You can also go for scaling ability power if you want to do that, or even cooldown reduction per level, but I don't think you need that. And then for the quench, you use 3 AP quench. And for the masteries, you use 2109. On the skill order in this matchup, you can start both Q and E, level 1, but I personally prefer taking E because um, some SCS might just try to hard push to wave level 1, so having E is good um, to counter the push, and that way you won't get shoved into tower and miss a lot of minions. And then after E, you take Q level 2, and then level 3, I would go for another point in E, and then level 4, take W, and max the E. And an item build, you want to upgrade your hex core as the first thing you can do. So you typically want to not base before you have 1k gold. And then after you upgrade it, you can either go for Morello or you can go for Abyssal. I think Abyssal is very good in this matchup because Asya is a very poke heavy champion and it's just really good against him. And then after that, you just go standard AP with like um, Rabadon, Void Staff, Sonya's and maybe Luden's last item or something like that. Even Lich Bane works. Thanks for watching this solo lane tactics guide. Make sure to check out the rest over at lolclass.com.